Hello everyone, welcome to With Love Tarot. Today I will be doing your nightly tarot reading and pulling three cards and then clarifying everything with a different deck. Please give me the overall energy and messages for my viewers and subscribers. September 4th, 2019. Please give me the overall energy and messages for my viewers and subscribers. What are the messages that my viewers and subscribers need to hear? And the overall messages and energy for my viewers and subscribers on September 4th, 2019. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, we have justice. Um, this speaks about kind of um, balancing energies um, or uh, it, even about a situation. Um, it could be about um, getting karmic return in some type of a situation um, or just kind of having to do with things going your way. Um, if anybody's involved in legal matters or signing contracts um, or anything like that, it's a good omen and a good sign. So we start off with the King of Wands, the Hermit, and Death. So the King of Wands could be um, you. It could also be somebody that you're uh, dealing with in your life. Uh, the King of Wands is a great card to pull. It's um, He really has everything together. He's ambitious. He's fiery. Um, it could be also about how you're feeling in general. Maybe you're coming into a role this month um, and taking on uh, more responsibility. Um, let's see. The Hermit card. The feeling I'm getting is that some of you are going inside um, for answers about something. Um, perhaps you're just kind of taking a time out um, from work, so to speak, and um, it's I don't get any type of negative feeling to it. It's more or less kind of just uh, taking a break from a situation, uh, going within for answers, maybe even doing a little bit of soul searching. Um, also, this is the card of Virgo, um, and we are in Virgo season, so very befitting. The next card we have is Death. Um, this really speaks about um, changes and transformation. I rarely read this to be um, in a negative sense. Uh, it could be that some of you are going through um, some type of major change or transformation. Also here on the East Coast in the United States, we're, and we're leaving summer behind, unfortunately, and going into the fall season very soon. So this could also speak about um, the change of seasons for some of you and just um, overall changes in general. So I'm going to clarify everything. Please clarify the King of Wands, the Hermit card, and Death. Please clarify King of Wands, Hermit, and Death. Please clarify King of Wands, Hermit, and Death. Okay, clarifying the King of Wands, we interestingly have the King of Cups. Clarifying the Hermit, we have the Knight of Swords. Clarifying Death, we have Hierophant. So um, the King of Cups clarifying the King of Wands could be, um, I definitely have the feeling that some of you are dealing with um, a man or a woman, somebody um, of kind of like a that plays a significant role in your life at this point. Again, this could be you as well, um, but we do have two kings here. 
So it really tells me that some of you are dealing with um, somebody who's more on the powerful side. Uh, the kings are more uh, evolved in the deck, typically. Um, this could even be um, people or, that, or somebody that you're romantically involved with um, who kind of embodies uh, some characteristics from both kings the knight of swords for me um, talks about uh, messages uh, quick messages particularly um, in this deck with the knight of swords he's racing towards somebody and swords for me um, are my um, signs of communication really i think that some of you are going to be getting um, a message um, or maybe even sending messages or kind of a rapid fire type of thing and especially that it's it's clarifying the hermit so that means that maybe um it means that you have to kind of get out of this mode and start to communicate again um, and maybe that's exactly what's going to happen So the next card we have is the Hermit card, and we have um, Death clarifying it. This is a very uh, powerful combination to get for sure. Uh, both are major arcana. So what this tells me is that somebody is may, maybe going through some type of a change and transformation that has to do with um, in, within an institution of some sort. Um, the Hierophant for me is, um, it could represent... Um, religion it could represent um marriage even uh, some type of a commitment uh, contract if you will um so there could be some type of a change or transformation that's happening maybe you are entering into some type of a commitment or a contract that's the message i'm getting right now um something that's really uh, transformative for you uh this also could speak to um again marriage maybe somebody Maybe some of you are getting married or um, or about to, and this is the transformation that's leading to this. So I'm going to take one more card just to kind of seal the reading and to see what other messages we get. Please give me one more card. Please give me one more card for my viewers and subscribers. Please give me one more card. Hi, Raja. Okay, you come to say hi to everybody. Yes, my love. Okay. All right. Good boy. Give me one more card, please. Please give me one more card, okay? Okay, lovely. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, for me, the Nine of Pentacles really um, talks about really being in a good place um, financially, mentally, physically. You're in your own element. Um, I think some of you, maybe assets will be a focus for you today. And um, also just being surrounded by luxury and being content. So this is a great card to get. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to making many more for you. Bye!